Hello, today I'm going to show you the way a password found to change a letter into a different one using Robofont. The first thing you have to do is open the extension Robot and then the next thing we are going to do is loading our font. Our font should be in UFO format and you load it like this. F equals current font, that's one way to do it. Or the other way to do it is to access directly to the path of the font. The next thing we want to do is to say which glyph we want to modify. For this tutorial we will modify the letter A and transform it into a letter T. We define the size of our canvas and the size of our glyph. To do this we are going to generate some random points and then find out which of the points are inside of our character. After doing that we are going to draw circles in those points and then we are going to move those circles from one point to the next. So the first step is to generate the random locations. We are going to generate 100 random points in our canvas and then see which of those points are inside of our character. We are going to draw a circle in all the points that are inside of our character. Now we would like to know how many points are inside of our letter A because later we want the letter A and the letter T to have the same amount of points inside so we can move the points from one letter to the next. We do the same for the letter T and we will fill it in with a different color so that you can see which points belong to A and which points belong to T. We want to know the position of those points because we are going to animate it later to make it move from one letter to the next. We add the position of those points to a list so that we can make the first point of the letter A go to the position of the first point of the letter T. In order to make it work properly, we have to make sure that the amount of points in letter A is the same amount of points in letter T. We create an if function to stop generating random points when the count of the points in the letter A is the same as the count of the points in the letter T. Now that both letters have the same amount of points inside, we want to animate it. We want all the points in A moved to the position in T. 
and we have to define in how many steps we want this change to happen. For every step, we have to create a new page. In every page, our circles are going to move the distance from A to T divided by the number of steps that we define. To make it easier to modify, we are going to put a variable to define the size of our circles. We can also change the amount of points that we want inside of each of the letters. And now we are ready to export it as an animation, as a MOV file. To do that, you just have to use the save image command and give a name to your file. This is how the final animation will look like. I hope you like it and that this video was helpful for you. See you on Tuesday.